to nothing in the second quarter. In his first starting game against Philadelphia and Lambeau Field, Aaron Rodgers outraced Steelers star and Pewaukee native TJ Watt to the end zone to tie the game, but it was all Randall Cobb who pushed the Packers to victory. He scored two touchdowns during the game for the first time since the 2016 playoffs. The final score here, 27 to 17. 12 Sports Stephen Watson has more on the milestone day for Rodgers. What a difference a few weeks make for the Packers from just three points in week one to three straight wins and a team averaging over 30 points per game. From worst to first in the division, the Packers are proving they have the weapons from rising stars to playmaking veterans that can build on a promising start the fourth quarter of the season. Well, I'm just proud of our guys because as overreactions go, there were a lot of people that were questioning us, myself, after week one, and we stayed the course. I think we got a very resilient team. Uh, I, I think we have a very confident team. Uh, I, I think it, um, uh, us being humble week one really opened our eyes to this isn't a cakewalk, this is the NFL. I just think these guys, uh, there's, there's a lot of pros in that locker room. When you get the combination of guys that are wired the right way mentally, and then they physically can go out there and perform at a high level, I think you got, that's, that's a great combination to have. And we're lucky to have um, everybody in that locker room. And how about this from the play of their quarterback? In week one, Aaron Rodgers had one of the worst statistical games of his career. Zero touchdowns, two interceptions. Since then, he's accounted for nine touchdowns and zero interceptions. The Packers are 3-0 and in those games. At Lambeau Field, Stephen Watson, WISN 12 Sports. And the Packers will play four of their next five games on the road starting next Sunday in Cincinnati.